A lot of people want to get promoted and today I'm going to tell you about the technique I used to get my last two promotions when I had a job that is. In my experience this is the best way to get a promotion that I know of so let's go ahead and get into it. All right so if you're a new engineer you may be wondering what are some of the things that I can do to get promoted and there are some obvious things like be good at what you do, become a craftsman, provide business value, make life easier on your coworkers. but there are several areas where a lot of people fall short and because of that it means you have an opportunity and what is this opportunity you might be asking this opportunity is called a hype doc now I didn't always call it a hype doc in fact I usually just called it a goal sheet but in some places in big tech they call it a hype doc and I want to explain a little bit about what a hype doc is what its purpose is and how it can help you get promoted. Okay, so what is a hype doc? A hype doc is basically a running list of your accomplishments and successes. It's a place where you keep track of what you're doing, what you're learning, what you're proud of, and how you're growing. The thing about a hype doc is it's pretty informal. It's not like a formal packet for a promotion. It's not a resume. It's just something that you're mostly doing for you to categorize your growth over time. You are really your audience in the hype doc and the purpose of it is for for you to be able to present yourself well when those times do come. And when it comes to the hype doc, I want to answer three questions. Number one, why is it powerful? Number two, what goes in it? And number three, how do you keep it? So let's go ahead and start with number one. So why is a hype doc powerful? It's mostly because nobody knows your own work better than you do. And the fact that Number one, you know your work really well. And number two, most people don't keep these documents. Means that if you're just keeping track of what you're doing on a daily or weekly basis, your small wins, your learnings, that's really going to stand out. It'll stand out to your manager because even the best manager couldn't know every single thing you're doing on every single day of the week. A manager's job is to be a little bit more high level. And so this document gives your manager insight into what you're doing and what you're accomplishing. The same goes for anybody else. So teammates, your skip level manager, you can't really expect anybody to have full insight into what you're doing other than you. And so it's important to document those things and to have receipts. So if you did a big refactor, you have the pull request. If you contributed to a process, then you have that documentation to link to. So it's important to link to things and to support what you're saying with actual proof. The hype doc is also powerful because it prepares you to advocate for yourself. So you're getting into the habit of advocating for yourself by telling about what you're doing, not being a braggart, but just being factual about, hey, this is what I learned. This is what I contributed. This is what I achieved. And it prepares you to advocate for yourself because when it comes time for promotions, you have this big long list of things that you can pull from and you can begin to make a little bit more organized and craft a narrative around when it comes to people trying to decide about why you deserve a promotion or not. And it's powerful for you personally because it helps you track your growth over time in the moments you're most proud of. So I think those are great reasons to go ahead and start doing this today. All right, the second question, what goes in it? So we've talked a little bit about this already, but let's get more concrete with some examples. Okay, so technical work, obviously. So like I said, you always wanna be linking to evidence. So for technical work, that would be pull requests, projects led or completed, so that's pretty the obvious mentoring so even if it's informal and you meet with a more junior engineer one-on-one -on -one every few weeks or every couple months you'll want to note that any other kind of leadership so if you started your company's tech blog or something similar you started the hackathon at your company you changed a process that's important to document any interviewing you want to do is important because interviewing does more than almost anything else to shape the future of your company and so if you're involved in the interview process you'll want to note that i mentioned moments of growth or learning and there are moments of growth that might not fit into any of those buckets that I just mentioned, so you'll want to note those. And then there's also personal brand stuff. So if you started a YouTube channel, or you started a blog, or you've been speaking at conferences or meetups, you'll want to note those things because those are really impactful for a company. It allows the company to be out in the community and assuming you're representing the company well, that's really powerful for the company's brand and for recruiting. And it also tends to give you credence and authority when you do public speaking, when you have some kind of content out there like this. And so you'll wanna note those things. Okay, and lastly, I wanted to talk about how do you keep this file? So number one, you wanna keep it regularly. That's important because it's really easy to forget about small wins, little things, bug fixes, those kind of get lost to memory. And so you wanna make sure that you're 
updating this, maybe not on a daily basis, but definitely on a weekly basis. You also wanna go for ease over perfection. So when I did this in the past, it was just a Google Doc. It wasn't greatly formatted. It had a few sections like goals and then actual things I'd done to make steps towards those goals but ease over perfection. So you wanna just do whatever is easiest for you. If that's just dumping random things in a Google Doc, then that's okay because you'll circle back around when it comes time for a promotion and you'll be able to format things and pull from this document in a way that's helpful and you can go ahead and make it fancy and pretty somewhere else. And last, you wanna share this document with your manager. So I think this is one of the things for me that helped almost more than anything me get a promotion is that I came up with this sheet with my manager. We used it for goals, but but I think you could use it really for anything. You could use it in the sense I'm talking about where it's just recording what you're doing. Mine also had goals attached to it, but I shared it with my manager. He had come up with the template. And so because of all that, he had visibility into what I was doing. And when it came time for promotions, he had all this raw material to pull from. And it also gave the perception of like, hey, Peter is getting stuff done. Peter is achieving, Peter's adding value. And because of that, it makes it easy for your manager to advocate for you when it comes time for promotions. And on that note, I'll end with a quick story. So I had this document and I would add anything to this document almost, like even really little stuff. And after about a year of doing this, it came time for promotions. And my manager and even my skip level manager both told me that when it came time to discuss promotions, it made it so easy for them to advocate for me because I had this extremely long list of things that I had done. And it wasn't because I was necessarily the greatest, I was just diligent about recording almost anything and everything that I had done. And they came back to me and made sure to tell me that it was because of this document or in a large part due to this document that it was just such an easy decision to promote me. So that's not to brag on myself, that's just to tell you if you're considering doing this or you're wondering how to get promoted, go ahead and create yourself a hype doc, not in a prideful way, but in a way that honestly and with evidence documents the value that you're providing at your job. That's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then you'd probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.